Today we have ChatGPT 5.1, actually it's a new version, versus Google Gemini 2.5 Pro, and we are gonna see who can make Roblox better from scratch and no game engine. And for some reason, this was like super requested in my last video, and I know a lot of you were saying, Roblox is a game engine, you can't recreate it. Guys, we're recreating like a popular game from Roblox is what I mean, like an obby, for example. Before you even start, hit the hype button for good luck. I heard you get a really cool animation, so do that. And also hit the like button, of course. Anyways, let's start the timer, 15 minutes on the clock, let's add ChatGPT to make a Roblox obby game from scratch, no game engine, and I want to be able to play it immediately. Also, make sure I am in third person, no game screen, because it always messes up when it makes game screens, and I want a simple Roblox arc or obby. Now we're gonna put it into agent mode because I heard that's even more powerful. And yeah, let's let's see what ChatGPT gives us. Now my money actually this time is on ChatGPT because Gemini, although it was winning in 2D games like our last video, Roblox is more 3D and sometimes it could get heavy in graphics. Okay, wait, creating file using container. Okay, this is new. Agent mode is new. 5.1, you better cook. Container, yo, I've never seen this before. It's like making it live. Okay, wait, I think it's I think it's done Yo, the thing is like moving around like it's a person. What is going yo? What is going on? It's literally moving around its own computer sphere thing So if you guys don't know AI agents are actually a human being artificial intelligence So it can do everything you can do on the computer screen in its own virtual realm And that's kind of what we're looking at here So in theory it can make its own mistakes and fix it instantly like right now it's searching for the 3js library And it's just adding code onto it. So this actually might take a while, but I have a feeling when it's done is gonna make something crazy like look it's it's literally searching the internet on its own like we're looking at it search the internet on the screen this is crazy yo ai is going far i know this is an ai channel but yo this is crazy now, i can't lie chat gbt is using up a lot of time right now but hopefully the first iteration will be its last if you know what i mean let's see if chat gbt can come back from its losing streak right now it's cooking i like what i like what i see it's thinking it's thinking oh whoa whoa, whoa. you guys do you see this it's making the 3d world and playing in it and testing it before it even gives it to us like this is lit this is tripping me out i'm not gonna lie yo if you're ever trying to become a software developer or game dev this might be taking your job bro i'm sorry to be promoting this this, but it's taking your job it's done okay let's let's play it all right here is the game i just opened the the oh wait when i press wasd i move around but yeah there's no pointer lock that it always messes up with that and like it looks robot-esque oh and i'm nowhere to be found okay that's great yeah it looks roblox-esque but i don't have a player the 3d is definitely very impressive with the shadows but i don't see a player number one my jump works i guess yeah we're missing the whole third person perspective thing as a first iteration this is really cool all right let's tell it to make us a 3d character model and make sure there is pointer lock similar to shift lock in roblox i want this game to be exactly like a simple roblox parkour obby but 3d so far looks nice all right let's see if we could build on this i all i want is just a 3d character model and i want pointer lock similar to shift lock in roblox and i want this game to be exactly like a simple roblox parkour obby and i told it 3d so far looks nice you know just to compliment it so it doesn't try to kill me in the future all right chat i like when you think but can you deliver right here put your predictions in the comments who's winning chat or gemini and make sure to click the hype button obviously i won't lie it has been thinking for a hot minute um yeah there's six minutes left it's seems to be aiming for perfection wait and something just popped up okay, it's implementing the stuff i asked hopefully it does it in this one go this time is running short hey um this is the final iteration i guess so let's see if it let's see if it um does what we ask okay there is pointer lock um when i go right it goes left though and when i go left it goes right i'm still in first person so that's not good okay okay pointer lock okay we have a character oh and we're 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 going through space that's 
that's awesome yeah time is pretty much uh i'm gonna give chat gbt like a three out of ten on this one like they it, it did you know what i mean this is i would not play this next is google gemini and you know honestly it's not gonna be that hard to beat chat gbt at this point but if gemini somehow does worse i will be surprised all right let's reset the timer and let's paste the first prompt we gave chat gbt into gemini make a roblox obby game from scratch no game engine and i want to be able to play it immediately Make sure I am third person, no menu screen, and I want a simple Roblox parkour obby. 2.5 Pro, do not let me down. Simple to follow instructions. You can possibly hallucinate on like 3D's commands, but usually Gemini does a better job at understanding what I'm saying and converting it to like code. It's cooking, it's cooking, it's focusing on the core mechanics. I like what I hear. Right, it seems to be done now. That actually took like two minutes to code. I'm actually surprised. So let's copy all this, paste this bad boy, and now let's run it. Boom. Oh, whoa. Guys, what the heck am I looking at? This is Roblox, bro. Yo, why does Gemini cook every... The controls work perfectly. I'm not even trolling. The controls work brilliantly. All right, let's see if... Yo, this is literally... Oh, and I fell out. Oh, it even has respawn? How did it code this in two minutes and AI agent 5.1 ChatGPT could encode this in like 10 minutes? Let's try to complete this. Okay, let's try to complete this course though. Boom. Okay. Boom. Yo, this is literally... This is so... Okay, I keep falling, bro. This is actually so freaking impressive. I genuinely cannot believe it. Oh my gosh. Look at the movement. Look at the movement, guys. We just made Roblox 2. I think there's only like one thing we really need to add to solidify this as an official roblox game gemini add a robux donation button yep you know what every every roblox developer adds a robux donation button even if they make the worst game of all time i'll really stamp it as like the best roblox game of all time this might be the best roblox game of all time i don't know if i said that already but this might be the best roblox There it is, guys. Do you guys see it? It's right here. The Robux donation button. Yo, how does Gemini do it? Like, every single video, it just makes a whole game in, like, under... It makes a whole game in the first iteration. All you need is to really, like, just put some real elbow grease into this, and it could be, like, a full-fledged game. But honestly, the Robux button really solidifies it. When you, when you press it, it says, thank you for the fake Robux. Okay. There's, like, look at the shadow on this, too. Like, it adds things, like, I didn't even think of, and I didn't include in the prom like it's hallucination like it, it does things i actually want chat gbt on the other hand like it just cooked straight slop so while chat gbt and gemini coded roblox um questionably well let's talk about how you can actually learn to build stuff like this yourself and today's sponsor brilliant makes that ridiculously fun brilliant helps you become a better thinker and problem solver through thousands of interactive visual lessons in math science programming and even artificial intelligence just like ChatGPT and gemini it's not just watching videos you're solving real problems writing code and experimenting as you learn it's the perfect way to level up if you want to become a coder or game developer i've been trying their program programming with python and logic courses and honestly it feels like building little mini games inside every single lesson it's hands-on and you actually understand how the code works instead of memorizing it so if you want to start learning the same way developers think go to this link on the screen which will also be in the description or scan the qr code on the screen you can start for free and brilliant is giving my viewers 20 percent off an annual premium subscription so you can unlock everything shout out to brilliant all right if you actually watched through that ad you're actually the go thanks for watching make sure to click that hype button and the like button maybe i didn't forget all right, but seriously, thanks for 25,000 subscribers. I'm going to see you guys in the next one.